To prevent cross-contamination when inserting, removing, or calibrating an inline sensor, a Mettler Toledo Intrac 797 or 799 retractable housing with double flushing chamber must be properly installed and sanitation processes must be correctly followed. By following these installation and procedure steps for the Intrac 797 or 799, you can limit the risks of cross-contamination in your biopharmaceutical processes due to installation errors or unnecessary sensor handling. The key to preventing cross-contamination is proper setup of both the housing and the piping. First, it is necessary to use the correct material for the piping. The piping should be of hygienic design using stainless steel of the same type as used for the housing to avoid corrosion. And the piping should be set up at an angle so that condensate can drain from the top to the bottom, preventing the condensate from being trapped inside the installation. Once properly installed, the measuring tip of the sensor can be flushed, serviced, and steam sterilized when the housing is in the retracted maintenance position. In contrast to a single chamber system, the double flushing chamber arrangement ensures that after sterilization, the lower flushing chamber remains sterile when the sensor is reinserted into the process. This is because the electrode section that enters the lower flushing chamber during reinsertion into the process has been sterilized in the upper flushing chamber. Let steam flow until 121 degrees Celsius is reached throughout both chambers of the housing. The recommended steam pressure should exceed 2.2 bars. After heating up, sterilization is achieved simply by allowing the steam to flow through the housing. Using a steam trap will help minimize any risk of cross-contamination. It will also control the pressure and temperature inside the chambers. At this point, you can sterilize the bioreactor separately when needed while the intract housing is in the retracted position. Aeration can be used to cool down the housing after sterilization. It is necessary to use sterile and filtered air to ensure that the system will not become contaminated. The lower chamber can be flushed with cleaning agent to clean a clogged sensor. The lower chamber can also be used to run a calibration procedure on the sensor inside the housing, further eliminating the need for sensor handling. After cleaning, the lower chamber can be blown out by again using filtered and sterile air to dry the sensor and ensure that there will be no cleaning agent in the process. After sterilization and any other maintenance steps, insert the sensor back into the process. For installation support from a local Mettler Toledo service technician, visit www.mt.com slash housing dash service.